Hi, everybody. It's Victoria Lorian Fabish, registered psychotherapist, holistic psychotherapist. And Fridays, I don't usually come live, but you know, with the news of Anthony Bourdain today and Kate Spade this week, I, as a mental health professional, I just need to come forth and say that we are all at the mercy of our untrained mind. And, you know, depression, uh, addiction, um, anxiety, um, mental unwellness of all kinds is something that, um, you know, we can't, we, we have to take it seriously. And people, I have to say, you know, do a lot of sweeping under the rug. And, and the one thing I do want to address more than anything is the notion that people who are famous, people who look like they have it all together, people who have money, people who are of a stature, they're presenting themselves amazingly, and they look the part, and they feel like a fraud within. And any one of us is at the mercy of this thing <clears throat> called our untrained mind. Let me be clear. Uh, depression has a biochemical aspect to it most often. And uh, so that needs to be treated with a combination of medications, sometimes um, supplementation, supplement, natural supplements can sometimes do this. But, um, you know, the, the, the training of the mind is the essence. Uh, you, you know, you can do all the medication you want, but if you don't work psychotherapeutically and with brain science to help your I'm back, <laughs> had a little bit of a notification come in. But if you don't train your mind, even as you're being treated with psychotherapy, with analysis, with brain science, with training of your brain, it is inevitable that these types of shocking things will occur. I mean, Anthony Bourdain, he was an addict for years and I have no idea if he went back out and, and started using again or if he's been experiencing depression or whatever it is, but he's been presenting this, you know, he wasn't reaching out. He wasn't telling people that he wasn't okay. <clears throat> Same with Kate Spade, or she was actually telling people, but they weren't really, I don't know, something was going on there. I don't know. I can't even speculate. All I know is, is that anyone who seems to have it all together, you know, I myself, I mean, I, I work with this stuff, but I have to work every day with my, with my mind. And, uh, and with disciplining uh, my mind and, uh, you know, not letting the gremlins of paranoia and what do people think of me and what are people saying about me and, and, and do people like me and, you know, all of that insecurity BS bullshit, you know, and yet <clears throat> it's, it's, when, it's, when it's happening in my mind, it's not BS. And when it's happening in any one of people's minds, it's not BS either. It's extraordinarily torturous and painful and difficult. And I just want to say, don't give up. Don't give up reach out, ask for help, do, do your work, uh, do psychotherapy, uh, analyze yourself, read books, reach out, get support. You know, it's, 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 it's essential. It's essential. And I, I, I'm so blessed that I get to do this work every day with my clients and that I get to teach many, many people, <clears throat> both in my seminars and in these Facebook lives. And I get to share information at my YouTube channel, but, and my books, but honestly, it's not enough because there's so many people suffering and the suffering is happening because the brain is just at the mercy of the fear and the ego and not being trained. And I'm a big fan of affirmations and meditation, but you know, sometimes that alone with, de with serious depression isn't enough. You need the medication, you need, um, you need different interventions. As a holistic psychotherapist, I'm a big fan of of uh, fish oil and B vitamins and GABA and 5-HTP and different natural ways. But, it works only so much. If it's serious depression, you need something else. I have seen in the past 20 years of my practice. But honestly, nothing is changing without the discipline, working with brain science and disciplining your thoughts. The biggest suffering happens in your mind. And the mind is a very effed up place left to its own devices. The mind is a very effed up place left to its own devices. And so you have to give it something other than its own devices, which is to constantly be um, programmed for um, fear and, and paranoia and what are people thinking and what are people saying and, uh, you know, what's going to happen? 
and I just want, I have I bawled my eyes out this morning uh, w when I found out. I, I found out within two minutes of the news coming out, and I was just like, I mean, the guy is like a total rock star, and I, I just am so effing pissed off at him for doing this. Like, what the F? I'm not swearing, can you tell? Anyways, um, it's a short one, but I just want you to know that any one of us is at the is is at the mercy of your brain. Any person here listening is at the mercy of your brain if you don't discipline it, if you don't train your mind to calm down the fear-based um, <clears throat> stories that you tell yourself. And that is, I mean, just true. It's just true. And, you know, pe and, and I would like to do a special shout out. You know, Michael Stone, who was one of my mentor teachers, he was a psychologist, a psychotherapist and, and a Buddhist practitioner. And he, you know, he died of suicide because he wasn't reaching out because of pride. And I just want to put out right now to everybody and share this video as you're watching it. If you are someone of stature of uh, that, that, you know, is out there um, helping people and is, you know, in the public eye and you are depressed and you are contemplating suicide, please reach out. I want to hear from you, you know, uh, reach out. Don't be embarrassed. There's no shame. It's not your fault. I love you. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. And you can overcome this with brain discipline and brain science and good psychoanalysis and medication and body centered work and, and support and reaching out. And there's, and, and you've got to banish the shame of it. Banish the shame because Mental illness is no different from physical illness. It's just unseen, but it's the same. And that is my message today. And I wasn't planning on going live, but I just felt compelled. And I had a 20 minutes between, between things that I'm doing today, but I just needed to sit down and do this thing. All right. Big love, big hugs. We're all in this together, you know, and you need courage because life's hard, man. You need courage. You need courage to get through this thing called life. So don't give up. Don't give up. All right. Mwah. Love you. Bye. See you Monday.